This week, it's all in preparation for the holidays. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell ring. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for clicking on today's weekly a grocery haul. So we went to a new place for you guys, not new for me. We have a Dollar General Market right by our house, like five minutes from the house. Now you might be thinking, oh, girl, why don't you go there all the time versus going into town and all the places. They don't have everything, but believe it or not, they have a lot of things that like Target and Walmart does not have currently. I will be going in there the next couple of weeks for some specific things and just making my life a little bit easier. So yes, we went to the Dollar General Market and saved a little coin while going in there as well. We did our usual Walmart grocery pickup and Sam's Club, quite a few things at Sam's. And then of course, y'all know, I'm obsessed with the Target drive. First drive. stop, somewhere we have not been in a while here on grocery hauls is our Dollar General. We have a market, which is a big grocery section and then the regular part of the Dollar General. I'm gonna be doing like a coffee bar slash cocoa bar for Christmas day for everybody coming over. And I don't have a lot of the staples that a lot of people use in their coffee. So this was much cheaper to price compare these things at the DG versus Walmart. And that's what I did because I had these things already in my cart for Walmart. So I did get the Dixie to go cups for anybody that wants to take coffee or hot chocolate to go. You get 12 ounce cups in here, 14 for the price was like $3 and some change. The big, the smallest one they had at Walmart was like a 20 pack for like $7. So that was good. This was the same exact quantity package, everything at Walmart I had in my cart and it was about 75 cents cheaper at Dollar General. I couldn't believe the big price difference there. This is the International Delight French Vanilla Little Creamers. I like how you don't have to stick them in the fridge. I can just leave these out in a little basket and people can use them and I can put these aside for it later. I did get a community sugar pure cane big like pour thing. This was like 15 cents cheaper to get it at Dollar General. And then my sister had out cherries and a little station to make like homemade Shirley Temples for the boys and they absolutely loved it at her Christmas party. So I thought we could do the same thing with them with some Sprite Zero. So I got some of the Dollar General brand of the Maraschino cherries. This is a 10 ounce one. And back in my day when I was little, Cherry Cokes and Shirley Temples were my jam too. Like every time we went out, it was my jam and I haven't had one in a long time. So I might make myself a Sprite Zero with some cherries on Christmas day too, to treat myself. So that was $11.25 to get us started on our Christmas. $113 Walmart grocery pickup. We also ran into Dollar General to get a gallon of milk because that was the only thing they were out of stock on. It was actually 10 cents cheaper, so I wasn't mad about it. So I did get a gallon of milk from Dollar General. It was $3.95, it was $4.05 for the whole milk at Walmart and even more expensive at Sam's Club. I know these times are crazy. I was finally, if you've been watching the past like month, I was finally able to get the little board and eggnog for the hubby for Christmas. Surprised by that being that we're like a couple of days before Christmas when I'm filming this. My usual silk creamy cashew milk for my coffee every single week. I did get some breads, the boys including hubs, all three are home for two weeks and we are flying through this for sandwiches, grilled cheeses, all the things. So went ahead and got another loaf because we're running low. This is for the Tres Leches French Toast Casserole Bake by Elise Ellis. And y'all remember when all their breads like this used to be a dollar? I mean, I feel like an old, like old timer wise person. Back in my day, the loaves of bread at Walmart were just a dollar. Now a buck fifty almost. They were just a dollar like a couple of months ago. They were then they were a dollar ten like crazy times. But I got that for that recipe. It's nice and fresh. I'm gonna try to like let it out actually to get staled up. For that casserole, it needs to be a little bit more hard versus fresh, if that makes sense. I got a huge white onion. I don't need one this big, but that is for the chicken fried rice by Elise Ellis. So after Christmas, once we go through all our leftovers, I'm thinking by Wednesday, they should be cleared out. Maybe earlier, not sure, but I have chicken fried rice on plan by her. It's really good, and I have a bunch of chicken on hand, so that's good. Got a head of lettuce. It was the cheapest to just get a head for sandwiches and wraps for us for lunches. The blackberries were cheaper at Walmart than at Sam's Club and the big pack was not a bad price and they look really pretty. So happy to see those. Green onions for the fried rice recipe. I got an ish ton of bananas. I don't think I need this many, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Like most of you, when I'm filming this, we have that blizzard coming through 
and I don't know how things are going to be. So I wanted to have more than I needed on hand actually. And I'm making the banana pudding. So I needed a lot of bananas for that. So I got 12 bananas, a three pound bag of sweet potatoes. I'm making the Ruth Chris copycat sweet potato casserole. I make that every single year. And if you follow me on Instagram and you want a sugar free version, I have a sugar free version that's identical to the real thing without the sugar in my highlights on my Instagram profile. I did get a package of strawberries are so expensive. Um, they were more expensive at Sam's Club so I just got the one pounder to go on top of the French toast casserole bake and for lunches and snacks they don't look as good as the ones last week but they don't look bad so I'm not mad about it I did get a block of mozzarella cheese that is for the pizza casserole by at least Ellis we have on plan after all the Christmas goodies are out of here so I needed a block of Parmesan also needed a bag of the finely shredded Parmesan for that recipe as well Two boxes of the low-fat yogurt tubes by Great Value. They are flying through these for lunches since they're home and snacking, so I wanted to have those available. The whipped topping, that is for another dessert recipe I'll talk about in a minute that I put on plan last minute. I have a bunch, but I need it all for those other recipes, so I got one for the new one, I'll explain. Two boxes of the Great Value Garlic Knots. It's much cheaper to get this one versus the name brand in this or the market side bag ones. And we love these. They're 120 calories a piece and I got two boxes because I know everybody will eat that pizza casserole and we'll have these on the side. I did get a container of the low fat cottage cheese. This is the 1% milk fat. This one's 80 calories and 12 whopping grams of protein. That is for me for afternoon snack. I've been loving cottage cheese. Cinnamon and raspberries has been my favorite. And I don't mind this one by great value. It has gone up in price, but I wanted to have that. It's cheaper than getting the cups like I saw me haul a couple weeks ago and I'm almost out of those. Speaking of something that's super high though still, I mentioned this last time I hauled it was the pimento cheese. This is the only one Trey will eat with his nonverbal autism, his sensory. He is like the pimento cheese king and we've tried them all and this is the only one he will eat and it is right under eight dollars we have one on hand but i wanted to have more for him since he's home and then for the fried rice i have two pork egg rolls y'all saw me haul a couple weeks ago we had these on plan with that real good foods frozen dinner and i needed some more to have so i got another package the four count of the pork egg rolls by great value and then I got um, some protein tuna pouches. I've been loving these too versus cottage cheese. Loving having a tuna pouch on hand. And I flew through these honey barbecue ones. They are really, really good. They don't even taste like tuna. I mentioned in the vlog, they taste like barbecue pulled pork. I know that sounds weird, but they are so good. 90 calories, 14 grams of protein. And then the usual ranch, which is 70 calories, 15 grams of protein. And then I tried all the bumblebee ones. These are cheaper than these, by the way. And the macros are fire. Ingredients are better than these two. I can't remember if it was the jalapeno or the spicy Thai chili that I loved and I can never find it in store. So I'm going to give this one a try and see if this is the one that I liked, but it is 14 grams of protein and 80 calories. And like I said, like 30 cents cheaper than these pouches. So just try. They have a bunch of flavors if you like that one. It's cost effective. To get a box of the Great Value Garden Rotini, that is for the pizza casserole that I'm making from Elise. And then to go with that, I got two jars of the organic Great Value Parmesan Romano. We like this one a lot. The macros are fire. If you are new, I talk about it all the time. It's 45 calories for a half a cup, which is substantial. And the ingredients are fire and it tastes awesome. Going back to that dessert I was talking about, so when we went to the Christmas party, my dad gave me a guilt trip, not really, but he was like, why don't you ever make anything coconut flavored? Coconut is his jam, chocolate is my jam, so I usually gravitate towards those things to make, and I was like, he's coming over for Christmas day, I'll make him something special for him. So I'm making a coconut cream poke cake. Y'all know those poke cakes? I've made a ton of those in the past. This one looks super easy. I was looking for something easy but yummy. So I needed some sweetened coconut flakes, the whipped toppings going on top of it, the fat-free sweetened condensed milk. I needed a, another can for the Tres Leches bake. I have one, y'all saw me a couple weeks ago, haul for the banana pudding, but I forgot I needed that for the bake. And then for his cake, I got a container of the vanilla jello pudding it called for coconut cream instant pudding but uh, you can only get that on amazon for like 50 dollars. so sorry dad we're going with vanilla instead i don't think he'll tell the difference and then i mentioned i'm going to be doing a coffee and a hot chocolate bar on christmas day for everybody that comes by so i wanted to have options so just like the creamers you saw me get at dollar general i got the land of lakes mini moose which is the half and half 
24 creamers in here and each creamer is 10 calories to have a little variety. And then I don't have any regular ground coffee. Everything's flavored. And I know most people that are coming over that are coffee lovers are just straight coffee lovers. They don't like any of the flavored ones. So I went ahead and just got the basic great value classic roast ground coffee. Coffee is so expensive y'all. And I have a ton for myself. So I didn't want to like go overboard on a plain one because I'm not necessarily a fan of the plain one. So that's for the bar. Also for the bar is an option if they don't want to use regular sugar, great value, no calorie stevia. This is a good one. It was pretty cheap also compared to some of the others you get 40 calories in here and a lot of the other ones have like maltodextrin and some other crud this one's just erythritol and stevia so i thought that was nice and for the price i was happy with it for the hot chocolate bar i have a couple of packets of the nestle rich milk chocolate flavored ones i've hauled a couple weeks ago but i wanted to have more on hand you get eight in there and i do have many marshmallows but y'all know how marshmallows get they get like clumped and stuck together over time that's how mine are right now and i wanted to have fresh ones for the bar for everybody and then that's all the food and then i got an ish ton of drinks because again i have everybody coming over on christmas day and i know some people don't like necessarily what we like and i wanted to have options i have cups and ice versus like cans because they're hella expensive you know the drill so i got a 12 pack of the cherry coke speaking of expensive i went bougie for myself and got a 12 pack of the cherry coke zero sugar for me haven't hauled this in a while and i've been craving it and treat myself for christmas instead of getting the water enhancers for the boys y'all they are like going through them too fast i talked about that last week how they're using way too much if i don't do it myself and that's just way too expensive like we're flying through four of them in like three days nobody got time for that or money i figured i'd get these knockoffs to the crystal light and these are the pitcher packets so you get six packets in here in each one i got the sugar-free strawberry watermelon and then the sugar-free fruit punch yes they have the stuff in there that i'm not really a fan of but just while they're on break i thought this would be more cost efficient and last a while versus the squirt things and then a bunch of two liters they were out of stock of a bunch which you know it is what it is but i did get what i could which i was happy with i got two of the a and w zero sugar for christmas day one of the dr pepper cherry that's probably for me i got two of the sprite zero sugars for the shirley temples we were talking about when we went to dollar general and i got a regular sprite for my dad he likes the regular versus zero sugar so that's for him and then i wanted to get some two liters of the sunkiss orange zero sugar they didn't have them so i got a six pack and they were also out of the canada dry zero sugar my sister likes this one so i just got a six pack of those and i'll leave those out they can have them over ice instead of the two liters so that's what we got for the drink station and all the stuff in preparation for christmas for 113 dollars walmart pickup dollar general sam's club drive up sam's club drive up don't ask me how much this was i'll put individual prices up as always but i had to renew my membership and i'm a plus member and it's a lot out of pocket at one time and it's always around christmas why did i sign up around christmas time that was not smart of me i had to go ahead and renew that plus do all this so it was a lot of money out of pocket i did get some fruit there some of their fruit is much cheaper than walmart and has been really nice the raspberries i mean look how pretty they are for the price i'm popping up much cheaper and they've been delicious i love this in cottage cheese it's been my jam so that's what i have on plan for snack this week and then also i got a thing of fresh blueberries trey loves blueberries and this thing is under four dollars it used to be like nine dollars at one point not long ago so so excited that these have come down in price and i love these as well did get the package of the seasoned angus roast beef instead of the one from walmart we love i like this one better than the walmart one and it's definitely cheaper it's one pound six ounces i think the walmart one is one pound for like the same price i did get another package of the greek pita flatbreads we have some in the freezer we have like four i think but we've been using these for the boys to make their homemade pizza lunchables and since they're home on a two-week break they've been doing like little individual pizzas on these and they've been nice for the price and they freeze really well i don't think i explained why i got whole milk from walmart the other day when i was filming but that is for my dad he loves milk in a froze like you put a glass in the freezer and let it get all cold and he likes to have whole milk on there with his dinner so that's why i got whole milk and i got the one percent is cheaper over at sam since i was going for cereal for the boys and for a ton of recipes so i had to pick that up and they're like out of milk everywhere like i said i had to stop into dollar general to get the whole milk and they almost said that this was out of stock at one point but i was able to snag it today so that was lucky speaking of milk and cereal i got another package of the sugar cookie toast crunch because it's 250 a bag that's like the cheapest cereal 
I've seen even cheaper than like the off-brand Walmarts. I don't know. It's limited edition. They love it. And it's the cheapest cereal I have found around. And then the Hubs is obsessed with Captain Crunch, Berries. This was actually shit. They don't have it in my club. But a perk of the Plus membership I was just complaining about renewing is that I get all kinds of stuff shipped to the house for free included in that price. And I do utilize that a lot. So it's worth it. So I got that for him because they are flying through it since they're home. And then they have all the Valentine stuff out everywhere, guys, like a week ago even. It is insane. And I know these will sell out. These are great also for my peeps that are in a cut, especially for the new year and you want to have a little extra something, something. These are the mini Cheeto Puffs and Doritos. You get 40 treat size bags in here. The macros, y'all. So for the Cheetos, one bag is 80 calories. For the Doritos, they're 70 calories. Now granted, they're teeny tiny, but if you want that taste and that little fix without having the regular bag that's like, what, 200 calories? It's definitely an awesome like little sneak in for snack and for lunch while you're in your deficit or if you just want it. Okay, so I got these for the boys, but your girl's probably gonna partake in some Doritos, maybe, we'll see. And then I did get another big box of this Hershey's Triple Chocolate Fudge Brownie Mix. You get four packages in there. I bought this like last week, but it's still on that $2 instant savings. And I don't know how much I'm gonna be making for my treat baskets I'm actually making today when I'm filming this. So I went ahead and got another one, and not only that, the boys absolutely love this. On occasion, I will make them brownies, so have it in the pantry is nice. And then of course, we got our usual Fair Life protein shakes the chocolate one they have the strawberry now i'm hoping for the new year you know how like sam's and costco for the new year they always bring like the healthy stuff for like a month or two and then they get rid of it they do the same thing with protein shakes. I'm hoping Fairlife brings back some of their like caramel and other vanilla even like flavors so we can have those. That would be nice. And then Lord have mercy. I'll see this big old thing of to go containers. And yes, don't come for me with the styrofoam. I know y'all don't see me buy this on a regular, but this will last me my whole life. Okay. So I usually buy them at Dollar General. They come in a 10 pack just for special occasions for Christmas and Thanksgiving for people to make to go plates to get out of here, get the food going. They don't sell them anymore, but this was a pretty good price for 125 and they are nicer than the ones I usually get. So I will keep these away. And again, they will last me my whole freaking life. Like, oh my gosh. But I needed them for Christmas dinner for the fam to take to go plates of all the things. And then I feel like I just bought freaking toilet paper. What is my life? Hashtag three boys in the house and I am down to like three rolls and we're going to have company over. So that was a necessity, but it's went up so much in price, like all things, right? So that is everything we got at the Sam's club. Last thing I got guys is an order being shipped from target that I could not get all the way in the drive up. Can y'all guess what it Last is? Last but not least, I did the drive up and they only had one available in stock. The other three, they shipped to the house for free, which was nice, but they had an incentive, of course, when you ordered the, through the drive up they were like two for ten so there were five a piece and there was some other discount and being that they had to ship these i figured that this is the last of our favorite day chunky chocolate is our absolute favorite popcorn i'm telling you guys if you still see it when you're watching this video if it's on like clearance for christmas snag as many as you can get because they are that good so i got four of those from Target to finish out our Christmas okay, grocery haul. For this week's grocery haul, if you enjoy these videos every single week, don't forget to give a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much. And thank you so much for taking time to do so. If you are new, don't forget to hit all the bells and whistles before you leave. We've got our 2023 grocery haul coming up next week to get us right back where we need to be for the brand new year. Thank y'all so much for watching today's video. I hope y'all have an awesome day and an amazing week. Happy new year to you. Let's crush 2023. And I'm so excited for you guys to be here along the journey. See you in the next video. Bye y'all.